And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our very first Aphelios deck. That's right, we did start with the Riven Taric deck and it did very well as you can see by our record up there. That one was really good. Um, but now we're going to play some Aphelios for the first time and what chat wanted to see with Aphelios was Aphelios with Victor. Victor did get a good improvement in the uh, in this balance patch as well because now whenever you um, immediately play Victor you get to create a hex court upgrade in hand you don't have to only wait till the round start so that's really nice plus of course Victor will level up instead of uh, at seven cards instead of eight so it just makes Victor level up a little bit easier so Victor looks pretty sweet so yeah we're gonna try playing um, Aphelios for the first time here Aphelios of course with Nightfall will start creating these moon weapons in hand and uh you know that's so that's going to be exciting to, to play with all five of these exactly see how this is going to work um you know like will i make some mistakes with the philios absolutely you know it's first day with these cards we'll just have to kind of see how it goes um but this is this is the list that we uh built together on stream and we're going to play to start with and i'm pretty excited about it i think i think this is going to be a good list i think we're going to pick up some wins um, another new card that we have here is the Fangs, which looks ridiculous. A 3-2 lifesteal for four is below the curve, not a great body, but that play invoke a celestial card that costs three or less, that is very, very valuable. Um, you know, you can get like the zero mana 2-1 challenger, so this can be four mana 3-2 lifesteal plus 2-1 challenger together, just for example. And, you know, that that's pretty good. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's play some Victor Aphelios. Here we go, five games in ranked. This board was pretty cool. We just played on it, I know, but we're using it again. It's the brand new board. Club Ox is the name of the board. Um, it's, you know, the newest, hottest club in Miami. Club Ox. Let's see. Hand looks good. All these cards are cool. We were peaceful once. Three mana hush. Yuck. Mountain Goat's good. The party has arrived. So we can hush Draven and block Watch with the goat. Or I can just pass and do nothing. The, the problem... The, so, like, that's that's not a bad trade for me. Hush and goat and I get a gem. The problem with that is that takes all my spell mana so that then I don't get to play any kind of other cards with Victor or anything. I think I'm just gonna take the damage for now. Like they are, they are a ribbon deck to go along with Dravens. Like I imagine that they're going to be uh, using a whole bunch of like pump spells and stuff on something eventually, making something pretty big and scary with them being a, a ribbon deck. And so I think I want to hold on to the hush. <laughs> you see my my dog Harvey in the background having fun. See, look at that thing already. That thing's scary. Overwhelm. <laughs> I like this new Victor though. I like creating the hex core upgrade immediately. Um. I'm gonna block you. Harvey? What were you doing? Were you having fun? Were you having fun, Harvey? Rolling around. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna be petting Harvey here while we're playing. Okay, I'm gonna block there, and I'm gonna block there, and I'm gonna block here. Looks good. What you got for me, Salamander? What you got? Now we're cooking. Okay. 
Okay. So, I don't think I can spell thief a whirling death, can I? I don't think I can. I think I can only take the spinning axe. I think. Okay, people are saying they think that I can get it. All right, well, let's let's see. Wow, I can get it. Wow. Man, look how good life is. And we got new emotes. Get an extra gem. I didn't want to hush the crowd favorite in case they had something else. I wanted to hold up the hush. Just in case. Alright, first I'm going to reheal this. Not going to let them use their random ravenous flock. What do we have? Lifesteal? Whoa, lifesteal is pretty big. Dude, arena bookie sweet. Challenger, let's go. Um, Only a fool would enter battle. how close are we? Five out of seven. Got to throw away one of these dust petal dusts to level us up. Alright, so a chance they kill my victor, I guess. I think it's worth it to get rid of this bookie and heal my nexus completely. I think that's probably worth it. Like, I, I could be a lot safer and not attack here, obviously, and just pass the turn. Maybe I'll just do that. Let's just pass. I guess I have priority again. Okay. So, like, what are they going to use? They could use, like, Spinning Axe plus Whirling Death together. Sure. All right, so they, they did kill my victor. I was not I did not play it safe, but we dealt a lot of damage to them. We healed our nexus completely, and they're they're left with two cards. So I think, even though I didn't play it safe, I think this is still just fine. You cannot hold us down. I was hoping they would play something before combat, and I'd get to meteor shower these two. Yeah, I don't I don't care about that thing. Come out and play. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. But look at me now. Save the What's up, Victor? How you doing? Man, these cards costing zero is pretty cool. I just wish I could play Fangs and Meteor Shower together, but I don't get to do both of them. That'll do. Alright, Victor Aphelios 1 and 0. GG's.
Whoa, mirror match? Copycat. Okay, we got Dubs, Aphelios. Probably don't need the second Aphelios. I don't know if we really need Mystic Shot. I don't know what they're playing, but maybe Mystic Shot doesn't actually do that much. I, I really like Aftershock, how it kills Aphelios. Um, right now, it kind of seems... Ooh, there's Victor. I was going to say, it kind of seems like Victor may be like the important card in this matchup. It does seem like... Seems like basically I'm thinking like about my deck. I'm thinking that I don't have very good answers to Victor, and so then their deck. I'm assuming that they don't have very good answers to Victor either. <laughs> Got some goats. All right, meat bags. What do you got? I haven't seen these new emotes yet. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Just gonna pass for now. All right, so the bot's not going to be making the ignitions for us. And they just straight up pass. I have great options, right? Like all these Fangs, Victor, Aphelios, they're all great options. I guess I could have put the gem on the fangs. I don't really like Sunburst v Bastion. What's the Yeah, we, we want to know so far. So, so far, so good. Yes, of course. Very possible I should just pass. I mean, it's just too good to get keywords on here, though. But, like, they passed with their mana. Cool, I got regen. Regen's cool. We have so many good options. So I could go Sunburst the Victor. Or I could go um, Priestess plus Aphelios. Neither of those options allow me to play the Hexcore upgrade. If I want to play the Hexcore upgrade, then I'm looking at 5 mana. So then I'm not looking at being able to double spell otherwise. I think I want to, I think I want to keep playing these Hexcore upgrades on this Victor. This, so I think I'm going to go Hexcore Upgrade, and then Aphelios, and then Moon Weapon. I don't even know what Moon Weapon. Challenger? Oh, I don't like that. Um, What do these things do? What does this thing Stun an enemy if it's a follower, stun it again. Summon a two-cost follower from your deck. What do I have? I have I have a goat and a bot. I think it's one of these two: the stun or get a goat or a bot. I think it's get a goat or a bot. Wow. 
Why are there two different cards here? What is this? Oh, the phase. I either get Calibrum or Severum. That'd be nice if I knew what those cards did. What do those cards do? <laughs> new, new cards. Alright, Calibrum deals some damage. Cerebrum, not as cool. Alright, I think I want the Calibrum. Yeah, we need to kill their victor, but they also need to kill my victor. So I kind of think these victors will just trade. Like they'll challenge mine and ours trade. Yeah, we gotta kill theirs, but if they don't kill ours, ours is gonna be pretty crazy. <sighs> Please, no Bastion. Please, no Bastion. Please, no Bastion. Yay! I didn't really like Priestess with like the other stuff we had going on here, so I decided to go with that. And yeah, that's true. Withdrawing the Death Ray, if they did have Bastion, we could we could pop the Bastion with the Death Ray, but I didn't really want to. I wanted to give oh, yeah. Victor a keyword. Hey, Zizu. Scout? Get some Scout? Five out of seven? Have the fury so it grows. So they could block here and Mystic Shot during combat and kill my Victor. So maybe that means that I shouldn't attack, but I I just think it's worth it to attack. That's the, like the only combination that they can have is you know, like Mystic Shot. Like, Mystic Shot's the only card that kills my Victor right now. And I guess... Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. So yeah, that was the only card. Alright, cool. Go back to an 8-7. I need to kill this Aphelios now, which... We have some we have some ways to kill Aphelios. So I think this turn is just going to be me casting, like... Gotcha and Gem and Hex Core Upgrade. No. Uh, that thing's kind of scary. So let's see, let's gem. But what do I want to gem? Do I want to gem this ballistic? I mean, the ballistic bot kind of just trades here, so I guess just this victor and just kind of look for like overwhelm or something. So I want like elusive or overwhelm. I'm trying to kill this Aphelios before they cast another card so they don't get a moon weapon. Okay, they cast another card, they get a moon weapon. Alright, it's got elusive. 12 8 elusive scout. with regen and fury.
Okay, so this is kind of a difficult decision to make. So I think the most likely, so they, we know that they have a moon card in hand, a moon weapon, and I think the most likely moon weapon they have in hand is the stun card. So if I, if I play anything before combat, they're gonna stun at my victor. However, if I do go straight to combat and attack with Victor, all they need is anything that de deals three damage to kill my Victor. Oh, I guess, no, no, not necessarily. Okay, so I was thinking like Aftershock, but I guess it'd have to be like Gotcha, right? Because it will grow because of Fury. Okay, so, oh yeah, they use the stun cards. They can't phase it again. So that means they phased something else. That's true. What? Oh, right. They tell us what they phased. I, for, I always... I, yes, I don't know about this yet. So they phased Crescendum, whatever that is. Man, we got... I gotta learn these cards. Crescendum, summon, summon something. Okay. So I'm gonna... We'll just... I'm gonna play the Solar Priestess. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's grab this thing. Grab this thing. So they, they grab the thing that summons the two drop. That's what they grab. Okay, so that was probably the thing that kills my victor. I can try for spell shield with this. It's not a great chance that I hit spell shield. I guess this automatically gets rid of their 5-5. Five five. And so that's better. Oh, they just have Hush. Right, Hush is a card. I just I just figured that, that like they also got like the obliterate, and so I wanted to try to kill their 5-5. Five five instead of getting I, I just thought that was a better chance of killing the 5-5 five five than getting a spell shield. So obviously I'll discard this core upgrade to the Spacey Sketcher. Yeah, Hush is still a card. Hush is still a card. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Metal is perfection. No materials, no improvement. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking they had Comet, so I wanted to attack and try to get rid of their 5-5 before they Comet, you know, before they cast the Comet. I'm keeping the Mountain Goat in hand to be able to help turn on Nightfall for the Dragon. Obviously, I'm going to be trying to Comet this thing for this turn. Man, these Victor games are going to be very long, aren't they? Victor mirror match games. Victor of Helios. You're never going to run out of cards with Targon. Vic yeah, Victor with, with Hexcore on play is very good. Choice out of five of these? That is ridiculous. I mean, I guess I'm playing those same cards. I guess I'll use some mana. If I have to, I'll, you know, play Death Ray MK2 before playing the Eclipse Dragon if we have to next turn. Hopefully not. All right, so this goes through. Man, this game's been a while. I don't remember. I think so. I think we've killed two Aphelios and two Victors. I don't really remember. <laughs> this game's taken a while. I know we've killed at least two of each. I think I think it's been two Victor, two Aphelios. I think. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Okay. 
Okay, so there's third Aphelios. Okay, and this... So, okay, so this level up is not I've seen you play four plus moon weapons. It's just simply you've played four plus moon weapons. I have 26 cards left, they have 20. They've drawn six more cards than I have. I'm hoping that card's on top. Deal three. Safety disengaged. Cool. Maybe they play like a moon card to try to buff up the Aphelios and we respond with this death ray. Alright, so that should be the third Aphelios dead on their side. I think, I think I've had one Aphelios and one Victor, and on their side, I think we've killed three Aphelios and two Victors. So I think they've had five of their six champions, and I've had two of my six champions so far. But that's a real card. And that's a real problem. That's a real card with a real problem. GG's. No! Dravenez. Yep, so lost our first game today. And, um, you know, it was a mirror match. And I, I think that that's really why we lost the mirror match, is they had five champions and I had two. And I think that that was just basically the difference in that game. Pretty sure I had two. I... I had I had a second victor, so I guess I technically had three because I had the second victor that I turned into those death rays. Um, so I guess if I if I didn't use the victor for that, but yeah, you know, I I cast two champions, they cast five champions, and I think you know that was the big difference. And then obviously five five elusives. Um. Mystic shot's kind of weird, right? Because mystic shot doesn't kill the champions. But it's it's also doesn't really seem like a card to mulligan either, so it's it's kind of weird. Yeah, predictions up. I don't think I'd want to really attack with Aphelios anyway, right now, even if I played it. Nope. We'll obviously get the card advantage. Yeah, Tarek put in a lot of work. So if they Mystic Shot my Ballista, alright, then I Mystic Shot their 1-1. One, one. If they let damage happen first, then we'd be able to cast a gem. Flesh 
Fish was weak, but look at me now. See, I'm still like a yodel in uniform. System upgrade. Alright, so right now, Mystic Shot's the only thing to spell Thief. So I'd like to play the Solari Priestess first, but obviously I just, just need to get rid of the Straven. Okay, so our next next turn, you know, like we'll play the Eclipse Dragon along with an Ignition. I guess I could go Priestess Aphelios. Actually, kind of sounds a little better. So I want the Priestess here for the the four one. Um, the deal four deal one actually works pretty well against both Draven and Ezreal. But the Traveler is always good. Hmm, this is difficult. Meteor Shower or Traveler. Could grab Written in Stars and try to grab a Victor. Because this is our second Aphelio, so like that's basically going to almost assuredly draw a leveled up Victor. And that's not bad either. Yeah, so every option is good. Maybe I want this Written in Stars and gra go grab a Victor. Let's see that. Warms the heart and lights the way. It's Draven time. That deal four, deal one's looking real good right now. Embrace the night, Aphelios. Hmm. Yeah, Victor will be leveled up. Can you perfection? I I agree, Gran Antonio. I think this board does have good music. to grab and so I guess we're gonna do it now I want to grab the uh, tribeam and populator come on I should have done that first the spinning axe I really want to tribeam and populator uh, I really want to tribeam and populator with me having like hush victor it would cost three Alright. 
Only not. One damage there. Definitely gonna heal that. They're over there trying to use their scorched earth and everything. One damage, give me a break. Hmm. Well, I guess eight damage thermogenic beam is gonna do it. Alright, so assuming so I have thermogenic beam that can kill the, the Draven. The moon glow can turn my 4-2 into a 4-4. Four, four. We're gonna try to stun a couple of things. 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two into a 3-4. I think it's between that and Crescent Strike. I think it's between those two. So that's of course the the worst card that to see. So that 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 was the card that I would want Crescent Strike for, right? Like I wish I I yeah, like uh, this is the <laughs> that was the reason to have Crescent Strike. They hadn't had this Captain Fair in this whole time, but they just drew it right now, and so it obviously makes my my Moon Glow play a lot worse because I will, I need this for Nightfall. Um so yeah, that's just very bad for me. So Moon Glow slow speed, so I couldn't I couldn't play it first. Most people that play Runeterra do not spend any man or do not spend any money on Runeterra. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. It takes a little bit of time, but you you can honestly earn all of the cards in Runeterra, where you can't you can't say that for the other like for magic and in Hearthstone. But like, you know, definitely magic. You can't say that you can just uh you know, like you like with magic, you, you can't say that you can just uh earn all the cards. Even if you play out eight hours a day like I did, you can't like you still have to spend money every single set, and that's not the case with Runeterra. Yeah, we we need the life steal with these things. Be able to block both of my life steals. The problem with playing that Mystic Shot right there was um, Ezreal. I now like I kind of need that Mystic Shot to go along with Aftershock for an Ezreal. I just I hope they don't have Ezreal. You know I wanted to take down that that huge thing. Um Sanctuary Tank. Thanks for the tier one sub. Tons of subs today. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much.
and yeah, so that's 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 Riot's motto is um, allow people to be able to play and earn the cards, and then spend money on cosmetics. That's their motto, and it's different from the other the other card games. The other card games need you to spend all the money on the cards. It's okay, Psycho Explosion. I understand. I am too. Um, being here in, in chat and talking in chat and everything, that's that's also awesome. And I appreciate that. And so yeah, this, this game is not too difficult to learn, Jada Vault. Coming from a, a magic background, it's not a difficult one to, to learn. But the, I know they they shot my space doggy. Oh, well, we got we still got Harvey back here. Real dog. Um, but as you can see, like we're we're long into this game, and it's still you know like back and forth, us, us having like both players having cards, everything. It's these games are always like very close, interesting, fun. I like them. Alright, so we got three damage upstairs. They're at one. There we go. GG's. Alright, two and one. Alright, Fjorshen. So Hush is good against Fjorshen, against like the barriers that Fiora Shen has. Um, kind of the same with Spell Thief, also good against like barriers of like taking their barrier and getting our own barrier. So I think I kind of want to just like keep all of these. I want to keep the bonds so they can do their thing. Keep my two drops. Predictions are up. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Why do I keep these ballistic bots? Witness perfection, meat bags. Cool. System upgrade. I don't know exactly what they were scared of, but they decided to pass, so I will allow them to pass. I'm not sure with Warrior and Written in Stars. You know, I'm going with the Warrior that can challenge and everything, but... I don't know. I don't know between that and Written in Stars. Can you improve perfection? Rin and Star is also pretty good. Your cover. I'm ready. Hey, take it to the gun show. Let them eat so. Oh god. Yeah, Sam, a Aphelios decks aren't is as you said you like you're winning against a lot of Aphelios decks right now. Like they're not going to be that they're not going to be nearly as tuned as all the other decks that we've spent months playing. You can't make any kind of, um, you can't make any kind of like decisions on what you think power levels of brand new cards are after one day. I don't think. I, I think you gotta. Gotta give it a little bit of time. Eight. Eight mana next turn. Yeah, we can, we can play this. Safety disengaged. 
Yeah, that's not something you expect, right? Fiora died, so they didn't they didn't have you know, another repost or anything like that. Or okay, so they okay. Well, so it looks like their plan was just to simply play another Fiora and not really worry about that one. This will keep them from drawing cards. Priestess. My steel is yours. Oh. We got a pretty big ballistic bot over here. Pretty big ballistic bomb. This is a this is a weird game. We gotta know these cards. Alright, so we wanna do this one that gets the two the two drop. Okay, so that doesn't count, because I mean because that was our second it says each round the first time you played two other cards, we did just play two other cards. I guess it means like after Aphelios is in play, then then play two other cards. I guess that's what that means. Don't have the don't have the mana to repost right now, but I, that's that's the card. Like they finally played something for me to spell thief. I can grab that repost. So they they cast that thing to get an additional attack and then pass. <laughs> okay, so that gets me this thing. I don't really want to play the the spacey sketcher out here with this Fiora at two. So I have seven mana, nine, ten, eleven. No, so I have six mana if I cast Star Shaping. Doesn't look good for me right now. Find peace in the quiet fell. It's just us. So you're saying I just right click on the card? It doesn't that doesn't help. Let me say figure out which one to play. Okay, plus one, plus two, and life steal, three damage to a follower. Um, 
Neither of those sound that intriguing. I guess the lifesteal. When it's in your hand, you right-click it? Okay. Grab the challenger. And here's where I paint my constellation. Can you improve perfection? Very good chance I'm dying here. The eye of twilight sees all. Alright, so I gotta play another card first before this thing. Plus two on lifesteal. Okay, so what do we got? We have stun an enemy or that. So I want this thing. I want the, gra the gravity, the stun. I'm pretty dead. I think that they, they probably have you like a barrier to save the Fiora. Right? Like that makes a lot of sense. So you don't get a kill with the Fiora at least this turn. My father's blade. Lifesteal barrier. I never hold back. Oh god. GG Fiora, GG. Do not fear, Ophelios. I'm with you. Fiora for Fiora with all barriers. That's you know, like the the nine drop wasn't really a problem. But with with us having no removal spells and then having all barriers, I don't really know how we get through the Fiora. Alright, our hand looks really good. Uh, Mystic Shot for Zoe, Aftershock for Aphelios, and then two cards that can create other cards. I was going to play the Priestess this turn, but I'm going to play the Goat now with having the gotcha. In case they had another Zoe. Shadow Isles probably means Serpent. Sorry, Shadow Isles probably means Atrocity. So I, I will try to keep Atrocity in mind whenever we're taking damage and everything.
Yeah, we're we're in ranked, of course. My faith protects me. We were peaceful once. Scorching light. Back heretic. Those are two very good trades for us. Wow, lucky sevens. We hit the slots, the, the seven, 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 and then the seven, 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 and then the seven, six, six. So their next dragon or celestial will cost two less. So that's their next dragon or celestial. Get him, Broodmother. Fury and Scout. Alright, cannot kill that thing with Mystic Shot. question. So yeah, Martin asks, why are we playing two copies of Gacha even though we only have one rummage for drawing? And so it's it's not necessarily about, like, obviously whenever Gacha costs two mana, that's that's incredible whenever it does, but it's still just a, a really good quality card and I, I felt like having removal spells that deal three damage, especially right now with more Aphelios uh, seeing play, I felt like that that was a, a very important thing to have. And um, so that's that's basically the the thing here is um, I wanted to have um, some more removal spells that would deal three damage. In the current metagame. So this, this thing would be... So two? Is this thing like normally a 5-5? Five five? Why does it say so two and then it's 7-5? I guess... Yeah, okay, yeah, it only gets the plus one plus zero yet because it should be a 6-5. I'm, I'm basically trying to get rid of this so it doesn't, you know, so uh, my stalking broodmother yeah, it, it can't be something that just blocks that. Shining gifts from the sky. Can you improve perfection? It's possible we can find another Crescent Strike with the Spacey Sketcher. Also possible, maybe we should just play the Spacey Sketcher first. Huh. How do they have so many of these things? Star Shaping created that one? So I attack with everything, they block there, they take... 
four, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, this is lethal. You know, like their best block is on the 6 6, but they still take lethal. Alright, so there we go. 3 and 2 for Victor Aphelios. Our first Aphelios deck looked pretty good. Um, these Targon cards are just amazing, right? <laughs> like, we, we uh, played against a good amount of Targon, and you have so many choices um, with these moon weapons getting, you know, five different cards. You always have, like, whatever you need. Like, you know, you're playing against a deck with a lot of removal, get, get yourself another 2 drop. You know, if if you want that, do you want to like they have something really big, or if you want to like close out game, get rid of a blocker, you get the stun. Do they have something that's kind of smaller, that's a follower that you want to kill, like an eye of the dragon or something? Go ahead. Um, all the choices you have in here means that the games, you know, between this, between all the invokes, you you um, have so much card advantage. You have so much choice as well, which means that you always have like uh, it's not only just raw card advantage, but it's also quality card advantage. Because you have all those extra things that, um, you know, that, that you want to find the, uh, like all those extra cards that like whatever you need for whatever game, whatever you want to find, you have. And so that makes the games go really long. That Like that's the downfall of having such good card advantage and good quality card advantage that the games go really long. Like this video, you know, an hour, 20 minutes here. We'll see what it is after I get done editing it. But, you know, it took an hour, 20 minutes to play five games. Um, that's a long, long time. And so, like, that's that's kind of a problem with Targon, uh, with how good the region is. But uh, besides that, as far as playing it, it is, like I said, very good. And so, like, you are going to uh, pick up a lot of wins with playing Targon. Um, and uh, so that, that's the good part. As far as, like, our first takeaways for Aphelios, um, looks strong. You know, like, it. so it's the, the thing is, is, like, it's not difficult to kill Aphelios, but it is something that you're going to need to kill. Um, I didn't really see Aphelios ever level up. Neither me or my opponents ever leveled up in Aphelios. Because um, you do have to cast four moon weapons. Now, it's, it's not like you... Aphelios doesn't need you to see see you cast the four moon weapons, but you do got to cast the four of them. Um, and so that's not, that's not like, real easy to do. Uh, you maybe need to... Uh, you know, you maybe really need to, like, play the Aphelios champion spell like this thing to be able to help level up Aphelios, but it's still just a good quality card. Like, there's nothing wrong with a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three. right? Like, that's just a, a good body, and whenever you play it, at worst, you know, like, you're playing a 3-mana three 3-3 three that gets you another spell, and at worst, you know, like, that's, like, at worst, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, but that's it here for Victor Aphelios. Victor looked really strong. Um, I, I really like this new, uh, you know, like, play create a hex core upgrade for victor i think that that's a, a pretty big upgrade for victor and then obviously it's easier to level up but i think that the the play ability is a really nice upgrade for the card um but victor decks are not fast right like victor you just want to sit around and spend as many turns as possible just keep on creating these hex core upgrades and building up your victor and everything like they are not fast decks either all right but that's all i got here for victor aphelios those y'all watching later on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. What have you been playing with Aphelios? What kind of decks do you want to see with the new cards? Right? Like, give me those deck ideas for the new cards. I'd be really interested to hear about all of those. Um, you know, what do you want to see on stream? You know, let me know. And then uh, I'll, you know, I'll try putting it together. And Puppy here. Puppy will go ahead. Oh, there's Puppy. She'll go ahead and, and uh, try it out too. So yeah, let, let me know what y'all want to see. Um, yeah. All right. But anyway, that's all I got here for Victor Aphelios. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.